Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the TBS Tiny Whoop Charger, specifically designed for the HV batteries you use in your Tiny Whoop. It's got some awesome features, so let's pop it on the bench and have a look at it. It's important to note guys that this doesn't come with a power supply, however, you've got three different options. I guess that's the reason they don't include one. If you choose to power it from a LiPo battery, make sure it's within the tolerances of the charger. Also make sure you set your discharge voltage so that you don't damage your battery. All right, there's a low voltage cutoff adjustment that you can set depending on what, what the uh, minimum voltage range is for your battery. You would set it to say 14 volts for a 4S. The, real, the really important one to recognize here guys is that if you do choose to power it from USB that you don't exceed the capabilities of a USB port, especially if you're choosing to charge it say off your PC's USB port. 4.35 volts fully charged, whereas your, U your USB is only outputting 5 volts, each port here can put out 1 amp. You're looking at a total of 6 amps there, which is well beyond the capabilities of most USB outputs. USB 3 would be ideal, but still keep it in mind that if you're running USB 3, you won't be able to supply 1 amp for each port. You're probably better off running it around 200 milliamps per port, just to stay within a reasonable limit. Alright, so ideally in the field, you want to power it from a, from a LiPo, you won't have any problems with current then. All right. If you're at home, you could also power it with a wall adapter. Uh, that, things, that makes things a little bit more convenient in terms of not having to monitor your battery's voltage. All right, so we might plug it in here and we'll show you a couple of the features. First thing that's going to happen when you plug in, you're going to see the, the cell voltages. All right, this battery is a six cell, it's at 25.1 volts. You can toggle through and select how many amps you want per port. This is important guys. 0.6 of an amp or 600 milliamps is not a sum total. So each port here will be charging at 600 milliamps. It's adjustable in 100 milliamp steps all the way down to 100 milliamps or one amp per port. If you want to stay within 5C uh, charge rates of these little guys, one amp is right on the window for your 200 milliamp hour battery. Your 255s are a little bit closer to say uh, 4C charge voltages. I tend to sort of operate around 500 milliamps, uh, charging at around 2C for these batteries. Uh, they're a small battery, so it's not a really big issue. All right, so one of the other things you can change is your low voltage cutoff. If you know, if you want to cut off your, uh, your LiPo's input at say 3.5 per cell, you can do the calculations to figure out exactly where you want it to drop. You can see that this one here has recognized it's a six cell battery and it will drop anywhere down to, to around the 18 volt mark. All right, set that before you start charging to make sure you don't damage your input battery. It's as then as simple as plugging your HV only battery in. It will then give you a reading of that port. You can see this battery is nearly already full at 4.25. The light will turn green when it's ready to go. And that's it guys, it's as simple as that. They provide these cables with you in case you have different connections, all right? But for most of us running the, the standard Tiny Whoop batteries, it should just plug straight in. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you got your FPV hit. Please check the links below, join our Facebook page or join us on Discord 